grown man business. Alright, we got another episode of Red Ghost Sports Talk. I'm your host, Red Ghost. Um I'm trying to get some of this sun out your face. Alright, here we go. Alright, man, it was a beautiful uh, birthday weekend for me. I like to say thank you for everybody with the birthday wishes. Uh showed a lot of love and support, you know. All that meant good to a brother. But uh Let's talk about something in the NBA. Let's talk, let's talk a little NBA action, man. We had to say farewell to an NBA legend. And that guy is Tim Duncan. San Antonio Spurs legend. Most points, most, most games, most rebounds. Uh, he retired, you know, it's official. Uh, Monday morning, everything was announced. This morning, excuse me. Everything was an announced that uh, he will be retiring. He had uh, San Antonio Spurs, you know, the media, the press make the announcement. He's not too big on, uh, on uh, attention. You know, he don't, he don't need to be in front of the camera, you know be a hot topic and then he don't care about any of that man uh, he's handling everything in uh in a classy fashion man so uh we're gonna miss him you know san antonio spurs or the fans i know everybody's gonna miss him uh he may be the best point uh power forward in nba history i believe he is in my in my opinion uh he was the nba mvp in the 2002 season and 2003 season as well and of course he got five rings he won five championships where he was the finals mvp in three of them that was 1999 uh 2003 and 2005. so um i'm not gonna go down with the points you know he's ranked number 14 in, in, in most points all-time points in the nba he's ranked like Number six in, in rebounds of all time. So I'm not going to go through all the points and everything, man. It's just a great legend, great NBA legend uh, is retiring. So, you know, he's going to be missed. Uh, he spent 19 seasons, 19 years in the NBA, baby. I thought he was going for the big 20, the big 2-0, but he called it quits this year. I hate to see him go, man. I want to see him, you know, uh, School the young guys at least for one more season, man. I believe he could have had one more season in him. I don't care if he even played the bench in most of, most of those uh, in those games, man. Just his presence, his wisdom, his knowledge, and he's a good guy. So, uh, just want to say farewell to a great legend, man, Tim Duncan, one of the greatest that ever did it, baby. Uh, <clears throat> five time, five time NBA champion. Hey, and he stayed. He did it the right way, man. He didn't. He didn't make everybody his enemy. He didn't try to make people uncomfortable. You know, he did it the right way, being a being a great friend, being a great teammate, willing to learn and willing to teach it all at the same time, man. He's a good guy, man. Always stayed quiet. You know, didn't nothing negative. You know, came out of. of of in, in his actions, you know, he uh, he stayed professional all the way through, all 19 seasons, baby, all 19 years. And he will further and, and continue to be professional, even in his basketball afterlife. So, you know, whatever he he do, you know, whether it's coaching, uh, announcing, being behind the scenes, just working with different teams or working with different players, you know, a lot of NBA greats still do that, you know. Um, Hakeem Olajuwon, you know, he worked with uh, LeBron James with his post game, and you know, we seen we seen a little bit of that in the finals, or well, pretty much the whole playoffs, where he posted them up and he he did good, he did real good. So you know, we have players like that, and like I said, man, with Steph Curry, he should work with Gary Payton in the off season on his defense. You know, Gary Payton still work with guys off and on, you know, in the league and everything and, and stripping up their they defense. You know, I know for sure, I seen with my own eyes when he worked with Kobe Bryant and he uh, helped Kobe Bryant become a great defender. 
Um, it's all good with the with the offense and everything. It's great about offense, but defense win championships, man. We we seen that, you know, we experienced that. So hey, man, want to say congratulations on your retirement, Tim Duncan. Enjoy, hey, enjoy the rest of your life, man. Just just sitting back and you know not playing the game, man. I know you're gonna miss it, but spend time with your family and and, and friends. You know that's what it's all about. You had a great career, man. I know a lot of NBA players will, will, will kill to have a career like yours. So tell me what y'all think, man. Give me your opinion. Hey, baby. You already know, baby. We back, man. We back. We getting back into the groove of things, man. It's been a great weekend. I'm still recovering. I'm still trying to rest up a little bit. <laughs> but we're gonna, we got to bring y'all some more content, man. I know y'all been asked for it. And, you know, I apologize. I'm moving slow. I got to get some baseball videos out. You know, we working on that, man. So I haven't forgot about y'all. I just want to say that, too. So, hey. And we growing. We are growing. Red Ghost 1, that channel, we at 315, I believe. Uh, our goal is 350. You know, you know, we're going by 50, man. 350, then going to be 400, 450, then a million. Nah, I'm just playing. But, uh. Yeah, we're growing, baby. Just continue to grow. Red Go Sports Talk is growing also slowly. I appreciate everybody who's on that Red Go's One channel and, and came over to subscribe to Red Go Sports Talk. You know, we almost going to hit 100 over there. I haven't checked the, the, um, the count on that one. I think it's like 70, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, we're still growing, baby. We're doing this together. And I appreciate everybody. You know, that means a lot to me. Seriously. So, hey, man, tell me what y'all think, man. Let's talk about NBA. Tim Duncan retiring. What's y'all thoughts, man? Grown man business. <laughs>